Hello and welcome to my channel. On this video, I will demonstrate how to create a user on IDCS. IDCS stands for Oracle Identity Cloud Service. It is the Oracle Identity Provider that provides authentication options to Oracle Cloud Platform. It can provide a lot of features and capabilities to authenticate users, including Active Directory integrations, SSL, sign-on policies, and so on. I'm not going to cover all IDCS features since it is not the purpose of this video. There are several ways to create IDCS users. It can be done from OCI dashboard or from the IDCS dashboard. To browse your IDCS dashboard, go to Identity, Federation, and then choose your identity provider, which is the Oracle Identity Cloud Service. And then you will see the IDCS URL. Just press it. And you will be redirected to the IDCS dashboard. In this video, I will create a user from the IDCS dashboard. Creating an IDCS user from the OCI dashboard will be shown on a separate video. So let's get to it. In order to create a user, we'll go to the IDCS dashboard menu. We see that the menu is different from the OCI menu. Well, we'll press users and add. When we create a user, we need to give the name of the user. And we can choose if we want that the email address will be the username or to choose a different username that is assigned to this email address. In this case, I have chosen, I've chosen a different username, which is Ben IDCS test user that is assigned to my email address. Then I'll press next. And I need to assign a user to a group. That group will allow the user to have capabilities and permissions on that application. In this case, I will just create a read-only user that is on OCI, or I can choose OCI administrator. Next, then finish. Our user is created. You can see that the group that is assigned is the OCI read-only, which I previously created, and it has access to the OCI version 2 app. Once user is created, an email is sent to, an e to the email address of the account that was created. The email contains an activation link. Once the account verification is completed, the user is active on IDCS and can log in to his Oracle Cloud account. Once the user is assigned to an OCI group, he will be able to see the user on OCI under identity, Federation, choosing the identity provider, and then we will be, be able to see the user here. The user is managed by IDCS, but has all the OCI user capabilities, including API keys upload, SMTP credentials, etc. However, the user groups will be shown on a federated menu since his group assignments are managed through IDCS. We can see the group mappings or the identity provider section. In this case, I have created the OCI group first and I have added the mapping using the group mappings. If we will go to the identity users on OCI, we will see the user that is assigned to that identity provider. The group will be empty since everything is managed through the IDP, the identity provider, but we will be able to use all the user section and all the user capabilities from the OCI. Good luck.